Hello? Kenny? Don? Oh, hey, Tom. Oh, the champ is here. Look what I brought with me, huh? Yeah. Look Josh, what I brought with me. Time to see. How you doing, buddy? Good. How are you? Yeah, I'm doing fine. Good to see you, Josh. Check it out. Yeah. Gentlemen, thank you for your time, obviously. Can um, I just cut hey, you off? It. Just let me cut you off. Uh, do you want to witness a little history? Have you ever seen history? I don't think you have. We got a special treat on behalf of the real world champion and Don Callis. Uh -huh. The ceremonial changing of the nameplate says John Moxley now still, been a little while, yeah. time to change it. We wanted to wait and do it here. This normally would have happened on AEW television, but Kenny Omega wanted to give a gift to the Impact Ta -ta! So if you just kind of uh, talk amongst yourself, Josh, I'm gonna just get this thing off here so we can do the changing and the switch oh. on, on this television program. You like that, kid? So, so I, while you're doing that, Don, as we've been talking about throughout the broadcast this past Wednesday night on AEW Dynamite on TNT, you were there for commentary, and as you said, at full gear, you and Kenny are family, mm -hmm. but you jumped off commentary, and you physically got involved in the match, and while we'll, we'll get to that, my first question is, how long has this been in the works? You know what, Josh? Just hold off. Let's have a little history here. Let's give the people a little show. <sighs> Kenny Omega nameplate. We got to see it here first. Kenny, look, I got the... Got the old John Moxley <laughs> nameplate. What well, we need that anymore. Hey, you were close with Ambrose, right? You, tough enough season one, right? He's an you, old you, Stanford stooge. You want a little Give bit of a him. souvenir? Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, I, I don't need it. No, we don't need that. <laughs> all right, all right. You wanted to know, I think, well, when this all started, and you know, people like you that kind of live moment to moment in your lives. Kenny Omega and I think in years. You want to know when this started? You probably expect me to go, last week. No, <laughs> not two weeks ago, not two years ago. Not even two decades ago, 27 years ago, this happened when I was trained as a professional wrestler by the Golden Sheik, who was a wrestler in Canada. You know what? Do we hey. have the Sheik's picture? Could hey. you bring that? There we go. There you are. That's your boy there with your, with your uncle. It's my uncle. The Golden Sheik was Kenny Omega's uncle. Mm -hmm. He not only trained me as a wrestler, he was my manager, and he took me in and he took care of me. And 27 years ago, he introduced me to his nephew, a 10-year-old curly-haired kid named Kenny. And for all of Kenny's formative years, I have looked after Kenny like the Sheik looked after me. And Kenny always had something special, and I've always been there. I've always been the invisible hand in his life like I've been in professional wrestling for the last number of years. Did you really think, Josh Matthews, that I got back into this business five years ago to do a podcast? Is that what you thought? Did you people honestly think that I came back out of a successful international business career to be the color commentator for New Japan Pro Wrestling? No. It was all part of the plan. It was all part of the plan for me to be next to Kenny when he won the IWGP heavyweight title. It was all part of the plan for me to come to Impact Wrestling like I did, Josh. It was all part of the plan when Tony Khan invited me into his house very graciously at Kenny's request to call Kenny's match where he won the tournament over Adam Page. It was all part of the plan when I was such a good guy that Tony Khan graciously invited me back into his house to call the world title match against John Moxley. You see, Kenny and Don Callis, we're family. Most people in wrestling don't understand anything about that. What we do is change history. We've done it, Kenny, not just once, no. but twice. We did it three years ago, almost to the day when I booked Kenny Omega with Chris Jericho in the Tokyo Dome, the match that changed the course of wrestling history, the match that Tony Khan said gave birth to AEW. He said it himself, Don. He did. He said it himself many, many times. A lot of people take credit for what we accomplished. They have. they have. And for all you people who love AEW, it's great. And you You're like welcome. <laughs> Just send thank you cards to me and Kenny Omega because we made that happen. Some people get to change history once. No one changes it twice. Never. And what we did last Wednesday night on Dynamite was changed the course of wrestling history. They're calling it the golden screw job. They're calling it the biggest screw job in wrestling since Montreal. Yeah. And I don't see it that way. I see it as setting the course of history right. 
because now what have you got? You've got what you always wanted. The greatest wrestler in the history of this business, a Hall of Famer in his mid-30s, is your AEW World Champion. And we did it together, and that's what makes it the most special. You see, some people make matches. Uh -huh. Some people like to make memories. Uh -huh. Kenny Omega and Don Callis, we make history. With all that being said, yeah. do you feel that what happened Wednesday tarnishes your legacy? What is wrong with you? Don't have can, can you what is you wrong with you? No, what no, is no, wrong no, with no, you? It's okay, it's okay. You're an ignorant no. little worm. Hey, Josh, could, could you repeat the question, please? Could you, could you, could you repeat the question, please? I just, I just want to make sure I just heard it correctly. Yeah. With all due respect, okay. and with Don yeah. physically getting involved I, I would in the match. you respect me. Passing you the microphone uh -huh. that you used off the skull of John Moxley to become AEW World Champion. Yeah. The way it played out, uh -huh. do you feel? You might have to do a little bit of a, a role reversal here. What, what, what if I assume the role of interviewer right now? Let me ask you a question, Josh, okay? Let me ask you a question. Okay, do you have a, a father or a father figure in your life right now? Yeah, you do? Okay, now what would happen if somebody that you hated, someone that you despised for no reason at all had the unmitigated gall to put their hands on your father, to strike your father down right before your very eyes? Would you hit them back? If you saw something laying before your feet, would you pick up that object and strike the man that struck your father? Huh, would you exact the measure of revenge? I think you would. Now yes, I had placed a gentleman's agreement on this match with John Moxley, okay? And I protected it to the best of my ability, but when you involve family in the way that you did, when you lay your hands on the architect, when you lay your hands on the invisible hand, what do you expect me to do? Of course I'm gonna get a little pissed off. I'm a little pissed off right now at you, Josh, okay? You, you, it's just like you, especially from the place you came from, to have that to have that arrogance. I'm gonna answer all your questions, all wrapped under one big nice package right now. You're probably wondering, okay, do I feel like I tarnished the legacy? The answer is no. Everybody wanted me to be the champion. Everybody needed me to be the champion. When people talk about the greatest matches of all time, guess who's had them? You're looking at them. And you're not just talking about singles matches. We're talking about cinematic matches, hardcore matches, tag team matches. My name is in the list of all of them. You talk about the top 20 AEW matches, I'm in about, I don't know, uh, 17 of them. When you talk about the top matches in Mexico, that's me too. You talk about the top matches in Japan, that's me too. England, UK, Zimbabwe, you name it! I'm probably there, okay? So me coming here to Impact, oh, you, you should start really treating me better, okay? You really should. And, and now I'm getting pissed off. So. Finally, what, 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 I'm, what I'm gonna ask, I'm, I, know, I know where you're going with it, so I'm, so I'm gonna answer the question. Well, what am I doing here? What am I doing here at Impact? Well, why this, why, why, why this whole, why, why, why the bus? You number, ask better questions than him. Number one, interview ourselves. Number one, it's because we can, okay? We like to ride in style. We like to live in style. Look, look at this jewelry. I feel like the old me again. <laughs> <laughs> but why Impact Wrestling? Hey, Doc, I'm gonna teach you something about myself. Please. As a child, I fancied myself as a little bit of a hobbyist. I was a collector. Ooh, really? Did you know that I collected comic books, Don? I love comic books. Yeah, well, I had to quit. You know why? Because no matter how much money I spent, no matter how many rare comic books I collected, I could never get the most rarest, the most valuable prizes amongst all the collectors in the comic book industry. Now I found a new hobby, and I have the most valuable prize of them all. The Action Comics number one. That's Superman's debut, by the way. I know. <laughs> and hell, I don't mind if I had an X-Men number one in my collection. Triple A title. I don't mind if I had a Spider-Man number one in my collection. That'd be pretty cool. Who knows, maybe that's the Impact Champion. You guys have got a great champion, right? Fantastic. Well, the thing is, I love traveling. I love the lifestyle that pro wrestling affords me. And as long as I have this, I don't mind having a little bit of fun in my spare time. We got titles here. 
Why not add a little bit to my collection? Who knows? But for now, Don Callis, we're about, I don't know, uh, 24 hours away from a big announcement at AEW. we got to get to Jacksonville and to blow thought, the lid off dynamite, Kenny. And, and if you thought the Lex Express was riding in style, yeah. <laughs> I got something even better planned for tomorrow. Something really? even cooler. Give us a little bit. Come on. I can't tell you. you can't tell us? Okay, okay. Well, give, do the hey, thing Here's a clue. Here's a clue. Lex Luger. Okay. Okay. You think it? We have the, we have the bus? What else? Oh, did I, I think yeah, I know where yeah, you're going with that. Yeah. You know what? You know what? You know what would be perfect? What? Do the thing. Okay. Can you do the thing? They all want to see the thing. Yeah. They, I, I, Josh I, might paint. Hopefully, if you, you guys it, didn't you actually ahead. think I was going to wrestle or defend this belt, yeah, yeah, but yeah, I yeah. am going to give you the thing. And this will be the first time I've done the thing on TV in a long time. So I'm going to do the thing. And and, and you ready for it, Don? We're going to blow up the you know Twitter thing. thing. You know yeah, yeah, thing? yeah. You probably heard it before, right? You know the thing. Yeah, everyone knows the thing. Okay. Do it. Must be you. Jew. Goodbye. Mwah. And good night. Oh my God, it's so great. Bang! Yes! <sighs> Let's get out of here. Oof. Back to Stanford, kid. <sighs> Thanks for coming. Champ? You're not a, I like him. He's not a bad guy. You're not really mm. a stooge.